Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the background of one of your videos. So, to do this, you will need two things. The first thing you will need is a picture. So, here as you can see, I have this picture. And in this picture, you have some mountains. So, this these mountains will be the new background of my video. The second thing you will need is a video. So, I'll show you my video. I will also explain you why I choose this video and what you should choose for your video also. So, basically... I saw that day that the, the sky was all blue and basically the first thing you want for your video is to have a sky that is only one color. It could be blue, orange, green. So with only one color it will be a lot easier for uh, Adobe After Effects to remove that color and to make it transparent. So the blue part here will be transparent and by making it transparent you will be able to put your picture behind the video to basically change the background. So that's the first thing. Make sure that you're uh, background is one color it could be more than one color but if you uh, do it with more than one color color the video this video won't help you because in this video I only show you how to do it with one color the second thing is that your video basically the background in your video is not the same color as the objects in your video so here as you can see I have a building and the building doesn't have any blues in it so that is pretty important and if your building will have any blue on it we could uh, work to to basically uh, just select the the sky and remove the sky and not the blue parts of your building but in this video i won't cover it so second thing make sure that your objects are not the same color as your background and the third thing is that uh, while you're filming the video you do it smoothly smoothly so basically do pan shots still shots but do it very smoothly try to 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 basically don't have any uh, camera shaking and harsh movements so this if you do it smoothly it will be a lot easier for adobe after effects to track on uh, camera to track the camera and it will do a better job than if you basically shake too much so now we're going to start this video the process all right so the first thing we'll do is select both the video and the picture and drag it into project here in adobe after effects now that you have your video and your picture you will take your video and you will drag it here after that you will want to go in top here in window and basically make sure that track your window is selected so by doing this you will see a new window right here and it's named tracker so in this new window tracker you will click in track camera so now you'll have to wait because track camera will be analyzing the background and you can see the process is right there so for this video it won't take a lot of time because it's only like i don't know how much seconds like pre like 10 seconds i think but if you have a video uh, that is more than one minute two three and more that video is long but more that uh, the track camera will take time to do it so be patient so while it does this we're going to go and click in both these two arrows right there and we're going to go in project and we're going to take the picture and drag it on top of the video so here as you can see the picture is pretty big so we're going to scale it down to do this you first have to click on one of these squares right there on one of these these points and then you click on shift on your keyboard so by doing this it will scale it properly scale it down properly so we're going to put it about here i think this will be okay so after that you will click in the uh, pen tool here and you will select what you want to keep in your background so here we're going to start here i'll show you what it will do it, it's basically a mask so here as you can see i have the road and all the green stuff the grass and everything if i make the selection of the mountains it key it gets rid of the, this part of the picture so we want this all right so let's go and see in effects control and select the video if the 3d tracking is finished so i think it just finished doing it we're going to click on the eye of the picture right here so we only see the video and if we click in 3d camera tracker as you can see it has made a lot of, a lot of tracking points 
we're going to click on this selection tool or press V on your keyboard. As you can see, there are a lot of tracking points. We're going to put the picture on top. And as you can see right now, it doesn't have a pretty big difference in the colors and everything. But if your picture uh, have different colors, I highly recommend you to first select the picture and go in effects and go in color correction and make some color correction. So in this video, I won't show you how to do color correction, but I recommend you to play with some color correction tools so you will be able to make your background look natural in your video all right so after doing this i'll just select the picture and i'll put it drag it a little bit down so it covers most of my video like this press and shift put it a bit bigger like this all right, so I'm just going to make sure that it is okay. All right, so when you have properly positioned your picture, you will click another time in your video and you will press on Control C and then Control V. It will duplicate your video. So with the new uh, copy of your video, you will take it and you will put it on top of your picture and you will go in effects control right there and you will click on 3D camera tracker and you will delete it. So here, as you can see, the video that is um, behind the picture, it has the 3D tracker camera on it, but the video that it is on top it doesn't have any tracker on it all right so this is very important so after doing that you will select the original video that has a 3d camera tracker and you will click in create camera so by doing this you will see that a 3d track camera will be created and now the last thing we have uh, to do is to click on the original um video that is on top of your picture and we're going to go in effect keying and on linear color key. So basically here you will click on the key color right there in the like sample thing and you will select the color of your background. So by doing this, it will get rid of all the blues in your video. So as you can see here, it got rid of my sky that, it, that was blue and you can play with this thing. So matching tolerance, as you can see, you can play with all of this stuff to make it look good for your uh, video. I'll put this on 8%. All right. And sorry, the last time I, I made an error, it was this step was not the last step. Now we're, we are at the last step. So basically after clicking on create camera, it will create this 3D tracker, a uh, new layer. And basically you have like a cube here. So you will click in this little cube on your picture and this will make the picture follow the video. So I'll show you the final result right now. All right, so now as you can see, we have the final result of uh, this video tutorial. I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped you. So I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove pimples and imperfections from a face. Today, I'm going to show you how to render in the codec H.264 in Adobe After Effects CC.